I ended up at school 53 to a community meeting. And when I walked in this community meeting, it was a group of men that was talking about changing the community that I was responsible for. Me and Tubbs and a lot of brothers that you see were responsible for destroying this community that we call Cold Springs. And so they were talking about it and they asked me what I thought. And that was the first time in, in my entire life that an adult asked me what did I think. And so I, I, I met a guy who was very humble, but you could tell there was something different about this guy that he was very, very concerned about the community. And I met him and his name was Dwayne Ferguson. And that was the summer of 1997. And he was the vice president of an organization called Mad Dads. And Dwayne extended the invitation not to just become a part of Mad Dads, but to become a part of his life. And from that day, Dwayne Ferguson took me under his wing and began to teach me what community service was all about. Later on that year, August 18th, 1998, later on the following year, August 18th, 1998, I gave my life to the Lord. And I began to work hard for the city of Buffalo. And Dwayne Ferguson made me his vice president of the Buffalo chapter of Mad Dads, being newly appointed as the president of Mad Dads. And myself and Dwayne and Pastor Giles, at that time was Deacon Giles, of Back to Basics Ministry, the vice president, I think, of Back to Basics at that time. Oh, the director of Back to Basics at that time. Uh, we all got together and Pastor Anthony Brown, and we began to do some awesome things on the streets, and we became about 75 men strong. And that was because of the vision of Mr. Dwayne Ferguson. There would be no Stop the Violence Coalition if there wasn't a Dwayne Ferguson. There would be no fathers, there would be no peacemakers, there would be a lot of organizations that we have now if it wasn't for brothers like Dwayne Ferguson. Dwayne Ferguson led the charge for years. I'm not going to tell his age, but it's been for, he looked great. But Dwayne has been in this community for a long time. For a long time. And he hasn't changed. And even though he had some adversity, he still never stopped doing what God called him to do. He's still pouring into the community. He's still leading the charge. He's still raising other folks' children. He's still putting his resources in the east side of Buffalo. So we would like to honor Dwayne Ferguson, the first real president of Mad Dash, the first real voice behind the change here in the city of Buffalo. And I want everybody to know that Dwayne, you get your flowers while you're alive. That's right. And we love you That's and we right. thank you. And we appreciate right. everything you have done. So on behalf of Pastor Giles, the chairman of the board of directors, John Smith, the vice president of Mad Dads, and myself, your little brother, Kenny Simmons, the president of Mad Dads, we would like to present you with the Community Legacy Award to Dwayne Ferguson, presented by the Buffalo right chapter of Mad right. Dads. We love you, and we appreciate you, and we got you. All right. Where you at, George? I got him. I got him. All right. Don't put that picture in the archive. Wow. Um, I don't want to say um, to God be the glory. You know, one from him, none of this could have happened. You know, um, I was just being obedient to his will. And uh, not my will, but his will. So I give him all the praise and glory for allowing me to be in this community for over 30 years doing what I do. I love giving back to my community. I love doing whatever I can do. You know, whatever he tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's been a rough world, you know. I lost my son in January this year in a car accident, so I'm just still going through. Um, and I just give God all the praise and glory for allowing me to go through what I go through, uh, for me to be stronger. For a young man like Kenny to come around, he was rough around the edges. I mean, rough. <laughs> Rough, man. You know, he just in rebellion, too. And Pastor Giles took him underneath his wing. He took all of us underneath his wing. And, um, you know, this is why it's where it is today. My brother George come up from Pittsburgh. You know, it's, our work is never done. It's never done. Um, the man had to be the head and not to tell about community. And, you know, when we stand up and do what we're going to do right, you know, the ladies will become be a part of what it is. But we have to stand up, the men. 
not the ladies, but the men. And that's how our Street Patrol started. When we was going out in the community, standing on the blocks, praying with our kids. Not only kids, praying with them, but ministering to them. So we got a lot of young men to come and be a part of the Mad Dads. So now what it is, um, Kenny, I'm glad you're taking this charge. Yeah, you got my blessings. You got my blessings. I told you that many times you called me, you got my blessings. So my thing is you keep doing what you're doing, man. I got your back. No matter what the situation, no matter how ugly it is, how beautiful it is, I got you, my brother. I love you, man. I love you. You're you, you my brother, man. So I'm just letting you know, no matter what they say, they got something to say. And you know where I'm at? You know where I live at? I'm on the corner. I'm on the porch every day with my mama, 90 years old, taking care of her. So my thing is, you, if somebody says something, Wayne said, you stop by, you tell see me, because I'm going to tell you the truth. Spite what the devil says. So my thing is this, to God be the glory. You got a beautiful church. You got a beautiful thing you're doing out here. Man, to God be the glory. And I can't tell you nothing else. Thank you. Okay? Love you, man. So today we just want to make the announcement uh, that Dwayne Ferguson will always be uh, president and murders of the Mad Dads. As long as there's a Mad Dads chapter, Dwayne will hold a title as president of murders. Uh, he was the first president here of the Buffalo chapter of Mad Dads, and he will always be acknowledged as one of the presidents of the Mad Dads as long as there's a chapter in Mad Dads. Is that okay with you, uh, National President? I stand with you. All right. Come on, give God a round of applause for our uh, brother Dwayne Ferguson. I have another award uh, that I want to give.